Okay, and welcome to my stream. You're all waiting in line. Oh, guys, here's my my mod that's been on vacation. <laughs> uh, well, no, seriously, literally, like, uh, last stream that you weren't here, Joan, the the bots attacked, and I was like, of course, the one time <laughs> that you're not here. But we're good today so far. Um, as for today's stream, we are playing Dragon Quest 3. Finally unlocked the ship, and we can finally, finally go places. I'm actually, because I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the ocean being open to us, I'm going to open up a guide to the side, just so I stay, um, on track for the most part. So let me do that really quick all right pp we have our boat and i guess it's ocean time whoa the music wow so nice <laughs> okay um i guess let's just start with this building right here What is this? Can I open this? No, I can't. Still still quite a few doors that I cannot open yet. Signal's bad in the park. It's okay. Thank you for <laughs> checking up on me anyway. It was a wise choice to come to this lighthouse. I'll teach you all about the world. Rowing so rowing south along the coast from here will bring you to the Cape of Tadanki. Keep going west from there. And you'll eventually read, reach Lancel and Aliahan. Once there, if you head north, you'll reach the island of Sipangu. Sipangu? I'm not actually sure I pronounced that one. And supposedly, if one could gather all six of the orbs, then they could travel anywhere in the world without need of a ship. So head south, and don't forget about everything that I just said. Don't worry, I already forgot, but that's why I have game facts on the side. <laughs> okay. Cool. I wonder what this um, will lead us to eventually. That warp tile. Okay, so our first... First thing is from Tor Portoga, sail directly to the west until you hit the mountains. Okay. We can do that. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we find the wet the the west mountains and then still stay north. Okay. Yeah, there's no way. I'm as much as I like like aimlessly exploring, um I feel like I'm a bit uh, overwhelmed <laughs> by the fact that this game is more freeform so yeah I just I just want to stay like kind of close or close to um, some sort of linearity just for the sake of the stream also yes we did get Alice to uh, sage and I got her up to level 16 off screen I think that that should be good enough for now Okay, so our guide is telling us to go here. What's here? Who are you? I think I'll build a town here. A town with a little something for everyone. But first I'll need some dealers. I'm not picky. Even if someone became a dealer and sells a low level, I wouldn't mind. Anyone interested? Okay, so I guess that is what being out here is for. I was actually told to make a dealer ahead of time. So I do have that prepared for this moment. I didn't actually know what I would need it for, so at least we can uh, just get that done very quickly. Um, let's just put character back and then get our healer who I named <laughs> Blanc, because 
I looked over at my acrylic stands on my, or I didn't know what to name her, and so I looked over to my acrylic stands on my shelf, and um, I saw Blanc Nike or from Nike, and I was like, okay, that's <laughs> that's what we're naming you after. Uh, okay, so I guess I have to go back. This music's like super relaxing. I love, I love Dragon Quest sailing music. All right, don't kill my dealer while we're here, please. Thank you. Oh man, the background is just incredible. Wow. Why do I have to get standby passes for the shops? What? That's insane. I don't know how Disney works or like Disney works in Japan, but that's <laughs> that sounds crazy. I've always wanted to go to Disney Sea. It looks really fun. And like it's just really different from all the um other Disney parks. I only know the ones here in the States. Let's give Blanc over to... Why do they have to say it like that? Blanc will give up on their journey and spend their remaining days here. Who I owe you on from here on? It's you and me, Blanc. It's okay. Blanc is going to, to run this town like the Navy. <laughs> Let's hop to it and build this town together. Blanc says, well, I'm staying here. I'll put my things in your bag. All right. There you go. Alrighty. Now let's go pick up our warrior from Luida's bar. Order our party. I really should put Hanabi in front because she's the warrior, but like, I just, I don't know. I like seeing uh, the hero in the front, so that's just how it's gonna be. Okay, so now, now it looks like, um, looks like now we, we are for real this time. Um, going around on the sea. So, sail south, staying close to the shoreline east. Sail south all the way, staying close east until you see a shrine south of a bridge. Okay. Yippee. On our seafaring adventure. <laughs> I believe those are a bit, um, they can be a bit, uh, dangerous if you leave them alone, because I believe they, per uh, paralyze your party. So, I'm gonna get rid of them first. Okay, so here's the bridge, and here's the shrine. Okay. I do love that even at level 16, my um, my stage already has so much MP. It's great. I just noticed she already has like 108, and I think that's already with me using Zoom with her a couple times, so. Okay. Many confused sailors stop here at the small church. The people of Tadanki used to come here too, but now... Oops. I guess we're going here. Oh my gosh, I have so much money. I didn't I should have I should have deposited that. Um What's in here? Oh, 
can't open this yet. Well, I guess we go back. Let's go, um, over here. Right? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Um, uh, doesn't look like it, but I'm just gonna see what's over here. Oh, it's kind of, it's nighttime, which is a little bit scary, but, oh, it's just these. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to give uh, Hanabi her items back because um, she was in our in Luida's bar for like a little bit, so I need to give her like some medicinal herbs and whatnot, just in case. You never know; she'll be one of the last to die if something happens. So I'm gonna be able to get through emergencies with her. That should be good. Um, looks like this is just a mountainous region, so let's just go back to the boat. And as for the rest of my party members, um, I think I'm gonna just keep them on their initial job classes for a bit. Um, and I'm not- I don't think I'm going to switch them over until I don't know, I feel like they've fallen off or something. I don't know. I don't know when the good time is for that, but um, I just don't feel the need to change them right now, especially because, like, I don't- I want them to get the- like, when I do class change them, I want them to get all the stat bonuses, so- I mean, all the good stat bonuses, I should say. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Lamb. I appreciate you, and so does King Squid. <laughs> oh, wow, he looks cool when he, he does his attack. Okay, I guess we're just going down. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's a little path here, it looks like. Okay. There we go. We're going somewhere. These shaman enemies look cool. Heal more. I always- I always compliment them before they do something silly. They compliment the monsters before they do something silly. I guess I can be using offensive magic too now with Alice. Now that we um have her as a sage. I should I should probably do that. I'm just so used to basically none of my characters doing anything. This has just been press A simulator. Oh, this place looks um like it needs some help. <laughs> Hello? Oh no. There's no response. Looks lifeless. Oh boy. Open the chest. The darkness lamp. Okay. What does this do? Is this a key item? Use more than once. I uh, don't know what that does for us, so that just goes in the bag for now. Um, black hood. I think someone can maybe equip this. Let's see. Nope, that is what May has already. And that just puts us back in the store. Um, we have a goddess statue. Can does this do anything for us? Nope. Oh, this cross. 
Nope. What I've noticed about Dragon Quest games is, you know, there's a goddess and, you know, there's uh, a religion for the most part, but like it never really does anything for anyone. Like, yeah, the goddess will like choose us to be the hero and that's about it. Like <laughs> everything else is we're saving the day, we're figuring the problem out, we're dealing with it. Um... Locked and don't have the right key. Okay. Oh, you can just walk through here. No response. Looks lifeless. Wait, something is written on the wall with blood. I wanted to give someone that orb that I had while I was still alive. Okay, so wh where is it? <laughs> where is the orb? Uh, is there something in this poison? Oh, uh, let's just... Uh, Gotta check the pots. Oh, wait, wait. Gotta check this top one. Okay. Oh, we're looking through caskets. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> That's a little bit, a little bit creepy. Uh, a life nut from the casket. Oh, there's a corpse. Yep. Yep. We are out of there. <laughs> Creepy. Okay. 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 What else is out here? Is that it? Is everyone just gone and dead? Let me, let me come back in here. Um... Okay, apparently I missed a mini metal, so let me go back. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> okay, it says, search the pots nearby to find 55 gold from the top pot, go west four whole steps, and examine the poison swamp. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me heal up uh, from that point. Okay, so from the top one, go four whole steps. So one, two, three, four. Why? Why do they do this to me? <laughs> well, well, if it isn't our ship-shaped streamer, thank you. <laughs> it is. I am really good at navigating the seas. I definitely don't have a guide open on the side. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's put all of this back, and I guess it's time to make everything nighttime, which is what this is for. Yeah, let me just sort my bag first. Um. Okay. And then here we go. This is useful. I'm glad. Um. I'm glad I have this finally because I did not love walking around waiting for it to be nighttime. Oh. Okay, so now everyone's alive when it's nighttime. That's comforting. Welcome to the village of Tadamki. Thank you. <laughs> this is a weapons and armor shop. I have so much money. I'm I'm happy. Okay, we could get a steel whip, but let me see. The boomerang is still the the whole screen, so I might just keep that. Um, we have a magical skirt, magic robe, magic armor, orange hat. Um, does the magic armor have like secondary properties of like being stronger against magic? I'm just gonna buy it anyway. I have so much money. Um, let's see, that's only by like three points, or two points for me. We get this, so I think we have the Cloak of Evasion on Alice still, which I still think is better. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, let me see, can I give this to Hanabi? Oh my gosh, Hanabi needs better armor in general. So let me, let me see. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's sell our old stuff. Mm. I think I can give the magical skirt to May now. Yeah. And then I think that's it. Okay, so let me sell whatever May was wearing. I think I'll, and then I'll be good to go. come back for the steel whip if I feel like I'm not doing enough damage with my hero, but I'm pretty pretty satisfied for now. Alice can be doing similar damage. Wait, wait what is she holding? I guess I could give her the whip then, if she only has a staff. Does the rune staff have a secondary effect? Does anyone know? This is my favorite town in the game? I'm excited. I, I like the premise already. keep the staff just in case. Oop. Put this away. All right. Let's get going. East around the Cape and up the river is a large volcano. Supposedly, it leads to the Necrogond Mountains. Unless you're very strong, I'd recommend avoiding it for now. Okay. Oh, and even the, the priest <laughs> comes back to life. Fun. They say that Baramos lives deep within the Necrogond Mountains. Oh, so that's where we get our run back with our... Or I guess our revenge for our father. Getting close to the end of DQ9. I'm excited to play more after I do more. Wait, after I do a bit more. Yeah! DQ9 is fun. You talking about makes me want to play it again. Like, I haven't... Genuinely, the last time I played DQ9 was, like... Maybe a few years after it came out. But yeah, it's it's been a while for me. If Faramos ever sets foot in this town, we'll make short work of him. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> they definitely got this. What? You thought Faramos already destroyed this village? Yeah. Clearly or mistaken. Uh-huh. I am clearly the one in the wrong here. How great it would be if we humans were able to fly. We would be able to go anywhere without fear of monsters. Oh, well, we're already talking about the, the airship of this game. This is a prison. Get out of here. Oh, so this is how we... So this is how we get the orb, is if we can open uh open that gate up uh, uh, uh. listen traveler you need to find the final key once you have done that head head to Lancel which is just south of Baharada Baharada gosh all these all these names okay so these these coffins are still down here being being normal <laughs> okay all right, is that it for this town? Mm. Let me see. All right, it looks like that's it for this town for now. Oh my god, I hate. Maybe I'll just stay at the inn just to heal up all my party. Wow, only four gold. Wow. What a steal. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back to daytime programming. <laughs> but now we have to go back to 
Alia Han. And then I'm gonna save my game because I don't know what the heck's coming up next, so I'm a little bit paranoid. And I could probably deposit my money too, just in case something happens. Um There you go. So now, let's get this. Small island west of Aliahan. What? Our next destination is a small island west of Aliahan. Go there and dock at the northeast side of it. So, over here. Where have we been here before? Is this something else? I think this is some- I don't think this is where we want to go. I don't know how to open my map in this game. It's kind of annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, that west. Okay, like, like, further out west. Alright. So now we're on our <laughs> sailing adventure. Over here. Here we are. Over here. Yeah, there is no way. I feel like... I, I mean, I think it would be fun, like, if I was just playing this in my own time and just kind of, like, meandering around. <laughs> but there would be no way I'd be progressing the plot. So I kind of want to just get to one place to another. Okay, so now we are in a different town. Let's see. Ugh, there's no shrine here. It's supposed to be somewhere in this village, but I just can't find it. Well, maybe look harder. Dozing off. Oh, kitty! Snore, snore. Daya appears into the mirror. Daya struck a vain pose. Hell yeah. <laughs> have to come in when it's night or er, when it's daytime so uh, or I guess I guess my lamp only changes it from to nighttime right so I'll just stay at the inn in the meantime There's no shrine here. Oh, okay, it's the same guy. Okay. Let's see. Lancel is quite a small town, but the shrine in the back is gigantic. It's our town's main attraction. Welcome to the village of Lancel. Supposedly, to get the final key, you need some kind of special water pitcher. But what could a pitcher possibly have to do with finding a key? Hmm. store didn't have anything interesting. Um, what is invisible herb? What does that do for us? It's pretty expensive too. Interesting. Um, I'm the item shop's owner's daughter. Please buy some of our invisibility herbs. They're a mysterious herb that can make you invisible for a brief amount of time. I'm sure they prove to be useful on your journey. Um, I guess I'll get one. Why 
Why not? <laughs> if I must, as a souvenir. Um, I'm gonna put this in our bag. Okay. I want to talk to the cat. Meow. <laughs> okay. Um. Entrance of the village, go north and pass through the out, out, outer side of the village. Okay. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I would never, <laughs> would never find this stuff, like, otherwise. I didn't ha have no idea this is here. They say that this shrine leads to Gaia's navel. It resembles a belly button on the world map, so we call it Gaia's navel. That's funny. Don't think I can open these. Okay, so that needs the final key. <gasps> a slime? You got an invisibility herb? Oh, this feels like a little bit, <laughs> a little bit suspicious. Then tr go try to sneak into Edinburgh Castle with it. All right. Some backdoor uh, or black market slime. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Gotta, gotta make sure we get that. Alright, so now... Um, looks like that's that for this town for now. And now we're going back to... Portoga. This is... This is very interesting how um you you pretty much just start going everywhere once you have this moon <laughs> oh wait uh where are we now we're going to that little island in the northwest i i do think it's pretty ambitious for um you know an nes game to just kind of be this freeform about exploration. Like, if I didn't have a guide, I would just be, like, going everywhere right now. And I think, I think it's fun in its own way. But again, for the, for the sake of the stream, I'm kind of streamlining everything, but I, I do see the appeal of this just being your adventure, you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty cool. Castle. This is Edinburgh Castle. Hicks aren't welcome here. No shield, no sword, no service. Now get the hell out of here. Excuse me, do you know who I am? <laughs> I am I am technically a queen, you know, at another place. <laughs> wow, okay, so I guess this is where we uh we gotta use our uh our little, our little drug item. Where, where is it? In here. There we go. Easy. This guy sucks at his job. This is so funny. 
I must be hearing things. <laughs> that's so... that's great. Being a castle guard you can sure get tiring. Hey there! Oh wait, you're Hicks! Dang, these are, these are like rich people. We're, we're not good enough to be <laughs> out here. Somewhere there's a pitcher that can dry up the entire ocean. What? You say that's inside our castle? D did I say it was inside our castle? I, I didn't say anything of the sort. Long ago, a shrine sank into the ocean, and now the area is covered by shoals. Bet there's sunken treasure inside. I bet too. King is upstairs. Yeah, let, me, let me finish talking to everyone here. Oops. The lady by the pond is Princess Margot. You're not from around here, are you? I'd love to hear what your country's like sometime. Okay, well at least she she seems nice. These are the king's and princess's chambers. You must not enter. Um, that's not gonna stop me. Lady manual. Nice. What beauty. Daya feels very relieved. Exactly. No matter what these people say, we are very beautiful. <laughs> Slick suit. I don't think I can wear that. But I can wear a party dress. Let's see. If that's gonna let us wear it. No. And I do remember the slick suit being um, a male character only uh, equipment from earlier. Okay. Um, what else is over here? Okay, that seems to be it for this floor. Oh wait, what's this? No, this is just going outside. The final key is inside of some shrine. Thank you. Okay, I, is there is there a? Is there, there has to be a, a mini metal here. There there has to be. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. <laughs> I'm like this this is very specifically a rectangle here in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, alright, let's see what's down here. Is this the prison? Oh, it's a strength puzzle! Okay. Not super good at these, but let's, let's try our best. So we guess we want to get the... Hmm, these rocks up here, right? We can only move this up, but if we move it up, we won't be able to move it back down. Can these move together? Okay, no, they can't. So let me re reset this. Um... Oh, if I move... Let's see, if I move... Oh, I can go around. So if I move this down... Hmm... See, if I move that down, I can push it back up later. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Um, oh no, I, I moved it too far. Wait, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. The the loading icon in my brain is going going off. Okay. Okay. All right. And then Oh, but then I can't go and then I can't go around, right? Wait. Uh stop. I meant going to... <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is a little bit difficult. I'm not playing with a D-pad, so I kind of move ahead too much sometimes. Um, okay. Okay, hold on. 
Daya is trying her best right now. Okay. And then... And then... What did I accomplish here? <laughs> I think I need to move it... Uh... Okay, hold on. Let, let me think more. If I move that up, and then I go around... If I move that all the way to the right... Mmm... Okay. I think I see what this wants me to do, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. Mm. So I'm gonna push this. Okay, okay. No! God damn it! <laughs> I keep doing that! Okay, 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 okay. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Kill me carefully. Carefully. Oh wait, I have to move the other one first. Let me carefully do this. Uh okay. Okay. And then carefully go around this one. Okay. Then we go around to this. And then What was my plan after that? <laughs> uh, so move that one to the right. So you move that one to the right. And then... Okay. Oh wait, that one makes that stuck. I am not good at this. <laughs> Cause then I would go around like this and then and then and then do that. But then this one gets stuck. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is part this is part of the the hero requirements is I I definitely can push some rocks around in an efficient manner. Okay, let me see. This over here. And then... Push it over one more. Then yeah. Okay. And then okay. Hmm. I'm doing it. <laughs> did it. The king is definitely is just upstairs having no idea we're messing with his stuff, but you know what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> the thirsty pitcher. Okay, so that is the item that they were all talking about earlier. That in the bag. Okay. So we did that. Now we can go back upstairs and talk to the king. Yeah, you know, unless he like hates me and is like, "You're, you're a hick. Get out of here." In which case, then I won't have a problem because I already stole his stuff. Um. Oh. Please mind your manners in front of the king. 
king is a broad-minded man. He'd even see country folk like yourselves. Oh, I'm so sorry. In the far western seas lies a recently discovered continent. A tribe of Indian people called the Sioux live there. I'm a generous king. I won't make a fool of you. Are you? I guess if, he does, if he's not gonna get mad that I took his stuff, then... I guess it's fine. <laughs> You solved the puzzle in the basement? That's remarkable. So that's where the thirsty pitcher was hidden? I completely forgot that the last king had informed me about that. Keep it though. You have certainly earned it. Alright, cool. At least he's chill about it. Okay. So next... Um... Let me see... south and through the main gates leading to the castle's roof. Uh, that's the only... Oh, wait, wait, I can go here. Oh, wait, no. I do have to go around. Okay. Maybe I fucked up. Let me see. You're not gonna let me in again. Okay, I don't really feel like dealing this, so we're just gonna... Hold on, let me just do a little reset here while we're... Hold on. Um... This this is too much work. I don't want to spend another three hundred gold. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Um. Oh, maybe it's down here. Oh, okay. Here we go. So you're the outsiders who snuck into our castle? Then I suppose the rumors are true. You're all just a bunch of hicks. Oh my goodness, everyone just hates us. It's not very nice. Um... I guess that's it for there, so let's go down here. Are you a traveler? Yes. Oh sure, some strange outfits you've got on. Are you country folk? Maybe. If you can properly arrange the three boulders in the basement, you'll be rewarded. If, ref if you fail, you can always re-enter and try again. I properly arrange. But, but I did properly arrange it. What? Um... that. I guess maybe he's talking about the pitcher and he's not going to actually reward us if we do it a specific way. Um, Alright. Well, I think, think that's it for this castle. Um, so let's do this. Let's go back in at night time, which I think I actually do end up having to use the... I think I can only use um, this outside, which... I'm not sure, but... Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna kick us out again. Ah, fine. Let me go 
Can we go buy some herbs? Um, Just in case, if I need to come back here again, I won't have to buy it. Okay. Now we go back. Do this. first. Um. I really like the um, nighttime version of this song. I feel like a, I really do feel like a ghost when I have this. Am I hearing things? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are very spooky, especially at nighttime. Oh, <laughs> we caught him sitting on the throne. You weren't meant to see this. Can you keep it a secret? I'll tell you this if you do. On the shore of the western continent is a small field surrounded by trees. Something of interest to you lies in that clearing. Wait, where- okay, let's see. Shore of the western continent is a small field surrounded by trees. Okay. I see the... Shore of the western continent. I guess we'll have to find that. All right. Looks like that might be it for everything. Let me go be annoying. Die, you've been defeated. <laughs> Your country folk. Man. They do not support my endeavors out here. <laughs> Travelers hate this castle because the people are so rude. They take advantage of simpletons. Yeah, I've I've noticed. Hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, so now, uh, what's our next agenda item? All right. Let's see, there is a lot. What is this? low-key look like an actual actual um, <laughs> place that we could find in the world or something. Um, okay, open the magic map, see the single dot, the northern oh yes very tiny, it's our destination to get there it goes directly south of Aliahan. okay This world map is based on the real world, just flipped around a bit. Okay, yeah, because I'm just like, this kind of looks just like an actual... I've noticed, too, like, a lot of places are very, um, just based on real places, which is which is fun. It's like an alternate version of our world or something. Um, okay, so let us just get all of our MP and whatnot ahead of time. They really popped off of this game. <laughs> I was also looking at the um, the trailer for the, the remake of DQ3. Again, just like now that I'm playing this game, I wanted to like actually look at it properly. And I'm just like, wow, it looks amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for it to come out. All right, let's, we're going to this little dot all the way at the top of the world. So, 
We're just here in the ocean. And again, like, if I wasn't playing with a guide right now, like, I would just be all over the place. <laughs> Not even knowing where I was supposed to be going. But maybe that's the point, you know? Just explore, make your own adventure. But I do like to follow some sort of pathway just because I, I, I don't know. This is, this is a lot. Like, this is a lot of the, look, look at this. Like, you, we could just go anywhere and, like, it's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Did this? Okay. Kravis. Also, I need to remember I can use magic now with um, Alice, now that she's a sage. This is fine. Oh, this is this is actually a bit scary. <laughs> wow. There we go. That's some esoteric <laughs> esoteric stuff. <laughs> like I'm trying to imagine just playing this game and be like, huh, I wonder where I'm supposed to use this. This is cool. Yay! The final key. Now we can... Oh. Hello. Allow me to tell you an old tale. They say Gaia's pit lies deep in the Necrogond Mountains. The mountains are south of the Isis Desert. Alright. Awesome. I, I like that he's just chilling in here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now it's opening all the doors time. <laughs> We are going treasure hunting. This is probably my favorite part of Dragon Quest games, or at least one of the, my favorite parts, is just being able to open all the doors that we've been locked out of for most of the game, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, Alright. So our first, our first um, section will be going to Alihan Castle. And time to uh, cause some ruckus. <laughs> uh, so I believe this is Go around here, around here. Um, I think it's here. Okay. I'm gonna open the prison prison doors. Yippee! You're setting me free. Thank you. Then allow me to give you a tip. Apparently, there is a castle somewhere where the Dragon Queen lives. Ah, huh, interesting. The Dragon Queen. Shoot! I, Bakoda, will not die here in prison. I don't need your help either. Rest assured, I'll escape this cell by my lonesome. Alright. Awesome. Um, Alright, and then next area 
is breathe man it already feels like a long time ago this game is flying by um wait, can i go out on this side actually i think i have i have enough to get my next mini metal prize let me let me check really quick more medals we have 37 and we get the smart glasses nice Ooh, at 50 medals we get a ninja suit <laughs> we can give that to may whenever we get to it okay smart glasses i will give to alice yes yay now alice gets to be smart because glasses makes you smarter that's just that's just how that works um all right a sage with glasses would be pretty cute though <laughs> i might have to draw that for my for myself in the future all right next place to go Reeve. and then go south and into the south forest cave now, oh i see we can finally open this place i remember remember uh this door from earlier in our playthrough ah i see so this opens this lighthouse gate all right And then next we do Romali. And we can go into the castle. And get their treasures now. What a hero we are, just <laughs> taking everyone's stuff. Don't worry about it. Assassin dagger, nice. And like spell shield. Okay, I don't know what that does. That sounds important, but what does that do for us? Um, let's give that to Hanabi. Dagger, no one can equip. It's probably for like a thief or something, which I do not have yet. Okay. And then we can go up here. Kandar is a real nuisance. I'm just waiting because I know he's bound to be up to something. This one, he just wants to be in here. Alright, that is that for this castle. to actually we can just walk to our next destination so let's get out of the town and we're gonna go this way oh not well i guess we can take the boat but we're going right here <laughs> and then go in here
There we go. And then now we go to our next shrine area. Oh, oh god. I don't know if <laughs> that, that effect kind of messes with me a bit. Okay. This is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm looking at a guide. Okay. Um, let's go here. Uh, okay. Yep. On that mini metal grind. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I see how this is all connected. Because I, we are back here now. I remember finding this tower. But we weren't able to go anywhere because this door was locked. But now, we're able to, um just go in. Very nice. Okay. And we can go through here. Welcome. This is Olivia's premonitory. Out of despair, Olivia threw herself off a cliff after losing her beloved in a storm at sea. Oh. They say that sometimes her voice can still be heard in the, w the wind, calling out to her beloved. If only somebody would offer her a memento of her beloved Eric. Surely Olivia's spirit would finally be able to rest in peace. Supposedly, Eric's soul is stuck on board a ghost ship somewhere lost at sea. Dude, what is up with this game and just like all these sad, sad lovers? <laughs> Alright. Um. So that was... <laughs> that um our next um area of interest for our treasure hunt is um to Moor, which we can get by going to dharma um, i believe we go this way i don't know why more is a not on the zoom list but it's fine Two, I think, with Alice. Let's see. I haven't used a single magic spell with her yet. Um, let's see. I think it's. Oh, it's by group. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Sky dragons laugh at me. <laughs> they just remember from the last time I've run into one. Ugh. I'm also not minding having things to fight in between um, places just because I do need to get Alice up to speed with the rest of the party. Um, 
should be somewhere here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's on the other side. There we go, that's mini metal number forty two, I think. Just put all these back. Oh my god, we have. Oh! <laughs> That's cute. That was an accident, but I did not know there was cute dialogue involved. Okay. Um. I wonder if there's like other. Let's see, Dia flips a small metal. Eek! Metal hits Hanabi. Dia bashfully picks it up. <laughs> That's cute. I'm just imagining my cute anime girls. Being, <laughs> being silly. Okay. Well, that's that. Um. All right. I think I think that's that's us being caught up with our treasure hunting. Yeah, so let's finally, finally return to our <laughs> main adventure. And go all the way down here. ocean um, battle background it's very just like relaxing to look at I love water like just being surrounded by water and stuff like that so I'm just like wow the ocean is the ocean is beautiful Love this art style you should play DQ6 next I actually DQ6 is my favorite Dragon Quest game <laughs> um, I played it for the first time, I want to say a couple of years ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> I played the DS version though, so I don't know if it's a lot different than the original, but. I would like to, um, the art goes hard. Yeah, I might have to, um, What's the word? I might have to look into it because, yeah, I. It's also one of those games I, I would like to revisit at some point. I just keep having a lot of other stuff on my backlog. Like, I don't know. Like, I. I've pretty much have played through all the Jarring Quest games, like, in the past, like, over, like, a span of, like, maybe 10 years. I've played through all, through all the different Dragon Quest games. But now I'm like, oh, it's been enough time since last time I played, you know, for example, the Zenithian trilogy. So I'm like, oh, I should just play that again. But. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, Dragon Quest VI, I feel like isn't that popular, but I really like it. I, I really liked the story and the, the characters and stuff like that in that game, so. Um, okay, anyway, back to this. Where am I going? I think I have to go up here. Oh yes, I have to get the orb from this guy. I can't do anything with the, the words on the wall, but 
Oh, I've waited so long for this day to come. The day that I would meet the hero. Here, please take this orb. Yay, the green orb. Take the scattered orbs to the south to Liamland. You must place the six orbs on the altars there to receive what you desire. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so this is this is the first dragon quest that started the whole orb orb thing from my understanding. I feel slightly warm. <laughs> uh, because I remember seeing the orb motif happening in DQ8 and DQ11, which DQ11 was a little bit on the nose about its DQ3 references, but the the, the DQ8 uh, the DQ3 references in DQ8 were actually pretty cool. Um, it definitely feels like one of the lesser known talk about ones. I think it's just like uh, I, from my understanding, people don't like that game. Um, like I think the DS version was very rare for some time. I don't know about now. I feel like all the Dragon Quest DS games are pretty expensive still. But I remember for some time people were like talking about how Dragon Quest Six is very rare for the DS, which I think is the the popular console to be recommending these games for. And then, um, yeah, I know I know some people just don't like the Heartbeat Dragon Quest games, which is a shame because I think those are my favorite ones. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alrighty, so now the orb orb adventure has begun. So let us go to Lancel. And then we go to the island to the southwest. Okay. one on DSA missing is four. Yeah, I I have let me see. I have four, five, and six. I just don't have the box for five because I only bought the cartridge um at the time. It was it was a very of the time thing because I didn't think DS games would be that serious like you know later on in life <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, I have all the, I have all the main line ones on DS and that's, that was kind of my main introduction to the series was by that point when they were kind of just porting them all over there. Ooh, it's snowy. This is fun. I feel like this reminds me of something, but I don't know why. We are, we are guarding the egg, guarding the egg. When the six orbs are returned to their altars, the legend Phoenix Ramia will come back to life. Ah, okay, so this is Ramia. Daya gently touched the egg. Great warmth spread across the palm of Daya's hand. Oh, okay, so this is where we bring the orbs later. Okay, um, where am I- where am I going? Search the northeast corner. Got mini metal. Okay. Um, let's see, where should we put the green orb? Let's put it- let's put it here. So we can do... There we go. 
Yippee. So we have five more to go. I don't know what it is about, you know, I just finished Mario RPG. We have to collect all the stars in this game. We have to collect all the orbs. Like, I don't know what it is about older games and just collect all the colored important objects and something good will happen. <laughs> okay. So next is... Collect MacGuffin, wind power. Exactly. Okay, next is... Going to... Portoga. Oh, I see. We're gonna be going to our... Little town we've started. <laughs> So let's go check up on it. Daya, it's me, Blanc. You've come back. I think I'll build a shop here. Yay. <laughs> We're really coming along. Here's a hint for being so nice. Sioux Village is in the middle of, er, sorry, the Sioux village in the middle of this continent has a well. Search the area around it carefully. All right. Okay, so then apparently we do this. We have a shop. She's really, she's really efficient. <laughs> this is an item shop. How can I help you? Let's see what we have. All right, well, we have the basics. Nice. And a leather hat, which we do not need any more, but let's see. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Ah, Daya, I'm happy to see you. This time will be massive when I get done with it. Oh, she's she's busy. Busy, busy lady. Thanks to you, now we have shops. A shop. Singular. <laughs> All right. So that was our new town getting its shop. All right. Now we are going to go look for that village that the elder man mentioned. You can go up here. Uh, mm, oh, this is, this is a bit of a labyrinth. I think I saw the town. Here we go. Ooh, Deranger and Bighorn. I think I haven't seen these three colors yet. Oh. <laughs> Did you notice a new town to the east in a small clearing? Yes. Then he must have successfully fulfilled his dream. Agility seed. And nothing. I guess 
guess the other guy just wanted to make his own place. <laughs> what is this place? An inn. Uh, let's let's check out the town at nighttime first before we do anything. My horse is a horse, of course, of course, but he doesn't talk. There's supposedly a talking horse somewhere in the world, though. Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, there's an island covered in ice called Greenla, just beyond the northern sea. I heard that a great magician lives in a field somewhere on the island. Snore, snore. Oh, uh, dropping an axe is different. I didn't lie. <laughs> Whoa, what, what happened there? Hello, the name is Ed. Oh, we found we found the talking horse. You must find the thirsty pitcher. It will allow you to dry up the shoals in the sea to the west of us. Ah, okay, so this is where you would find out about that. Wait, but he just said... The talking horse is right there. He's like, I thought it would just be like some random place, but nope, it, it it's here. He, he's right there. <laughs> it looks like they're all sleeping. Return the pitcher, you are thieves. Ooh. Pitcher, master knows, mumble. Alright. Uh, let's now go back to daytime. Our tribe always speaks the truth. I really like horse. Very good horse, too. This is an item shop. How can I help you? Um... I don't think we'll need to buy much. Maybe, like, some of these just to have it. Um... That's good for now. They say echo flute hidden in towers somewhere. Okay, that's all he has to say. Thirsty pitcher originally from our village, but men from east come here many moons ago and steal it. Sounds about right. Let's see what they have to sell. Or er, yeah. What battle axe we can get? That's eight thousand. Um, probably sell my old stuff. Okay, wait, let me organize my inventory and then I'll get stuff to sell. Don't need clothes anymore. <laughs> um, don't need the chainmail anymore. Um, don't need the silk robe anymore. Don't need this flashy suit. shield. I don't know how many of these are like one time only items so I don't want to actually <laughs> sell them. That's that for now. How much was the 
The battle axe. Eight thousand seven hundred. Okay, I'm gonna fly back to the bank really quickly and then I will buy that. <laughs> Don't be in my way. Let me spend my money. do it in increments of a thousand. Okay. There we go. If only we got interest as well while our <laughs> money was in the bank. Um. Oh no, was that not able to be zoomed, zoomed to? Hello, welcome to this stream. Okay, so me... Okay, I'll just... We'll just, uh, sail back. Not a big deal. I enjoy the sailing in this game. It goes down here. What's this game about? Um, I mean, the basic gist of it is that we uh, are the hero and we have to go fight the uh, save the world and fight the uh, <laughs> fight the evil evil guy that killed her dad and save the world from the evil darkness, literally. <laughs> Um, but we haven't we haven't met the villain yet. We are still just kind of exploring the world and seeing what it has to offer. I have to come back. Uh, sounds like a generic hero story, but this is the video game that started the generic hero story for video games. So, you know, can't really can't really fault it too much. Like this is Dragon Quest is the progenitor of hero stories. <laughs> Of course, there's a lot of charm in exploring the world and talking to everyone and, you know, seeing what each town has to offer. So it's rather fun. And in this game, you can make your own party members and customize them and stuff. So it's it's a good time. Well, yes, they existed since the 1600s, but not they did not exist in video games, so to say, <laughs> until Dragon Quest happened. Um, or at least in the turn-based variety. Um, let's see. I was, I was giving this to Hanabi. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we have... Putting this... What stories do I like? I like... Oh. For our, our viewer here. At least for me personally, I like all kinds of stories. I like horror stories, to love stories, to adventure stories. Just whatever seems interesting to me. Um, okay. So I think now that we are done with this town. Let me see. Oh right, we have to go we have to go check the the well. That was <laughs> that was the important part here. Um... <laughs> you guys are so silly. Uh... Uh... Alright. 
Finally, the truth has been discovered. Forgive me. It was I who originally stole the picture. Ah, uh, so he's still living here. I'm originally from the castle town of Edinburgh. I failed to catch my ship home and I've been stuck here ever since. Fortunately, one of my colleagues stole the picture from me before they set sail. And now he's stuck here in a well. But don't worry, guys. He has a Pachisi ticket, so you know. He, he has his priorities elsewhere. Uh, let's put this in the bag. Okay, I think that's... Is this it? Let me see. I have to pull up my guide. Um... Search south of the well in the middle of the village. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. We got some tile searching to do. South of the well in the middle of the village while facing left or right. Okay, so it's like, like, wait, hold on. Like this. Hold on. Gotta. There we go. And then sort search north of the well while facing left or right to find small metal. Number 44. Very good. And then... Hmm... I think that's... That's that... For... This town. Yes. Um... Okay, the, the guide is recommending me that I max on medicinal herbs, so I'm just gonna do that. I don't know why, but I will do it because I am paranoid. Back in my day, we had to sit here and <laughs> buy things nine at a time. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's... That's that. I don't know if I want to say what I like here, since people seem pretty hostile to anything I have to say. Well, I think it would be... Behoove of you if you were, you know... A little bit more open-minded about the games I want to play on my stream, you know? Uh... Let's see... I need to get... More of these... Oh, I don't want to buy 90. Oh, no, no, it was just 9. That's <laughs> my, my brain. Uh... Okay, yeah, let's just... Let's just stock up. I don't know why it's telling me to stock up, but I will. Um, I'll just buy some of these. Um, I think that's... That's that for this. Alright. saying you were saying uh, I was making a bad decision. It's just, you know, don't come into my stream and you know, ask what the game is about and kind of be like yeah, that sounds generic when I'm literally playing the game that, again, like I said, was just the progenitor of the hero story and turn-based games. We wouldn't have, you know, Final Fantasy without Dragon Quest. We wouldn't have you know, Shin Megami Tensei. Well, I don't know what Shin Megami Tensei, but definitely like Persona. Um, just lots of other popular uh, turn-based games. Pokemon, I guess, is the is the biggest one. <laughs> okay. So now we are going. 
back around and going to go to the green green lad island that they were talking about earlier Most fictional stories, especially fantasy, are le at least loosely based on older stories. Not often use a journal outline of the hero's journey, which goes back to the 1800s at least. Exactly. I never said Dragon Quest um, started the, uh, the trope, but, you know, for video games, you know, it it is a big deal. <laughs> it, it is actually quite sad that people don't know the um, just the importance of this series to just the industry as a whole because it it is a very important series to me it's a very important series to you know a lot of people who maybe make your favorite video games they either were inspired by this game directly or take inspiration from someone who played this game um and made the games after that you know it's 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 a whole thing. Dragon Quest, I feel like, needs a documentary on Netflix. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Looks like... Are we going to this, this, this one, this one? Okay, okay, because there's snow on it. Okay, here we go. Oh no, wait, <laughs> don't let me go for it. No! <laughs> no, I didn't even have a chance. Oh my god, please, 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 please. No! <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the... Oh, this is the shrine we were at earlier. Um... Okay. So let me see. Um... Is it this? Do we- or is it- oh no, this is just a- let me, let me see. So I guess we have to keep going. This is not our final destination. Oh, but there are metal slimes. Is this just like the secret metal slime farming area? Okay, please. Please. Please, just- just stay there. Stay there. Thank you. <laughs> Did we find the farm? We may have found the farming spot. Metal Slime Island. <laughs> All right. It's really good for Alice because she is very. I mean, like obviously they're good. She's gonna be behind for the rest of them, but it just feels scary when they're a mage and cannot defend for themselves all right is it this is this is this it okay okay so now we're here um what makes you think of dq2 Oh, yes, yes. I, I feel like it's just, just, uh, <laughs> it's just a, what's the word? It's just a part of the Dragon Quest charm. <laughs> Your mage constantly in peril? Yep, that's just the Dragon Quest experience. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. Oh, okay, I think this is it. This is it. I love, I love this. Oh! It is just grass. It, this is just grass. Okay. 
where are we <laughs> oh wait okay okay civilization this looks like persona without the <laughs> you're right you're right <laughs> it's been years since i've seen anyone well i don't know maybe if you didn't like live in the middle of nowhere when was it last it must have been when the pirates came here they left a strange bone with me by the way have you ever heard about the change stuff no that stuff you can change the shape of your body into anything you can imagine I heard that the king of salmonosa had something like it you could reach salmonosa through a traveler's door unfortunately the portal is behind a locked door that only the final key can open ah well, lucky for us we have the final key already. But I do like, actually, that they organize the towns and NPCs in such a way that, um, how you would say, like, even if you kind of roamed everywhere, it would, like, give you a hint, like, oh, you need the final key to get this to this area. So then you maybe will find, you know, run into an NPC that tells you where the final key is, and then you can, like, kind of piece together where, like, um... Where everything is and i think that's pretty cool so even if i was kind of just like bumbling about that's like but <laughs> what are you guys saying in my chat oh my god yeah i i like <laughs> shimigami tensei totally ripped off persona persona 5 is is why we have shimigami tensei <laughs> is it no persona 5 is why we even have persona 3 you know what i mean it's actually funny because I remember like back then when Persona 3 and 4 were kind of like the personas that, you know, like that were like really mainstream and like popular and stuff. Um, like, and now like Persona 5 came out and I, I was looking at like a popularity, like a popularity poll and like not a lot of people and I don't know who the like main, you know, sample was that took the 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 popularity poll but like persona 5 was like the most popular like and then followed by persona 3 like kind of and like persona 4 was like not popular at all but i'm like there was a time where persona 4 was so popular that it got a fighting game you know what i mean like i was just like well like it's crazy how things just cycle out like that um Anyway, I'm just checking if there's anything else in this field of nothing, but it looks like that is not the case. Um, so I think we're just gonna have to look for look for our next destination that we can. Uh, what was it? The the change staff? We have to look for the change staff now. Now that we have the final key. Um Yeah, sometimes like I, I feel like and I say this as a joke, but like, you know, sometimes I say things like Persona 5 created turn based games. But like some people like <laughs> some people like act like it actually did, and it kills me. <laughs> uh, don't even get me started about Digital Devil Saga. That's what I'm saying. I haven't played. I haven't played DDS in a very long time. And I know there's like the Devil Summoner series, and this. I actually speaking about that. I actually really want to get into, or I want to play Soul Hackers too, but I haven't just. I, I don't know, like, I haven't heard super great things about it, but I want to play it anyway. Yes, we love Raido in this, in this household. <laughs> okay. Travel southwest. Okay, I think, oh, I think that was, like, the dot that was, like, over here. So we're gonna have to find it. Let's see. Yeah, it was, like, somewhere here. Oh. 
played Soul Hackers 2 last year. It's a pretty solid 75 out of 100 IMO. The combat is fun, but you can tell it was a B team game. Okay. Story's a little flat and predictable. That's unfortunate, because I feel like I feel like it's it's a fun it's a fun side game side spin-off series. <laughs> like in in concept. Maybe it's just a game I'm gonna just have to pick up while it's on sale or something. Do you like the party members and their interactions? They make the party bonding a big mechanic. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely on my list. I... Honestly, I've been a little bit underwhelmed by Mega 10 games lately. Um... I'm, like, a huge, huge Shin Megami Tensei fan. Like, before I, like, fell in love with Dragon Quest, my, my hyperfixation was definitely, um, SMT. And it's just unfortunate that I feel like it hasn't really gotten the love that it deserves. Because I tried play, play, bleh, playing SMT5, and I did not enjoy it enough to finish it. And I think I'm only, like, maybe... A third a little over a third of the way through the game um, I'm not entirely sure but um, is it is it this uh, sail directly south oh, okay anyway oh what's happening okay okay <laughs> um but yeah, I I can't even get myself to finish SMT5, and I'm excited to play the Vengeance version to hopefully that fixes the game. Beat 5 after taking a huge break from it because I also was uh, was also underwhelmed, especially at the 3DS slash DS releases. I agree. Like SMT, I loved SMT4. Um, my favorite SMT game is Strange Journey, and I wasn't a huge fan of Strange Journey Redux. But I loved SMT4, and Apocalypse was like okay. It was it was like good. I didn't like love it, but it was you know it was good like for a sequel, like a silly sequel game, like sure. Um, but yeah, like SMT5, I was I remember being so so excited, like for it when it was announced because I remember they announced it at the same time around this like the Switch was announced, right? So like. I was like, oh my god, like, SMT5 on, like, the new new gen console for Nintendo. Like, it's gonna be great. And then it finally comes out, and I was just like, I don't love it, <laughs> unfortunately. And I'm trying to finish it before Vengeance comes out, just so I can have the experience of finishing it. But it's, it's definitely not on my priority list for now. Um... Okay, let me see. Sail to the east continent directly east of Moor to find a tower. Okay. Gotta find a tower. It's like somewhere here, supposedly. SMT5 is a top five series for me. See, that's that's good taste. That is good taste. <laughs> Best part about SMT4 Apocalypse is just punching God in the face. I mean, it's it's a mood. <laughs> I actually really like Nanashi's design. I think he's cool. Even if he's a little bit more anime-ish compared to the rest of the series, I think he looks cool. Vengeance comes out, I think I'm only interested in the new route unless the old ones get updates. Yeah, I think they are just, uh, from my understanding, there's just a point in the game where it splits off and then it's just new stuff from there. So I think just focus on that because I, I think they are leaving the vanilla version of the story just for if you haven't played it before you can but otherwise yeah just just focus on the new stuff all right we are just in a new dungeon so no more guide for me here <laughs> i am going to have to finally play the game for myself after all the exploration because lord knows i'd be here all day if i <laughs> did not have a guide open during all of that 
But now we're finally at a dungeon, so I can I can just explore freely. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for SMT5 Vengeance. I just it's just unfortunate that um, the original vision of the game wasn't realized. Uh, there is a an interview on the official Atlas YouTube channel or something like that, and they have they the developers of SMT5 talk. Li they literally talk about how. They just weren't able to like they got the criticism and they also were talking about how they weren't able to um you know make the game the way they wanted and i'm sure it's partially partially because the suits over at sega are just like you know persona 5 makes a lot of money so you gotta make it more suitable for the persona 5 fans but it's just like <laughs> No one's play playing SMT5 for it to feel like Persona, because I think that's why they give you, you know, the whole school, like, school student setting, and, you know, you have your little friends, but, like, then they don't actually write in those characters very well, um, or don't flesh them out very well, so. Exactly. Don't play SM mainline SMT to get Persona 5. Like, if you want to play Persona, or get Persona vibes, just play Persona. Um, and like, related to that, I love the Persona 2 duology, but that doesn't get anything from Atlas. <laughs> like, I, I love the Persona 2 duology, and like, I feel like, I, I just like the, the feeling of Persona being more influenced by Mega 10, like mainline Mega 10 in general. Um, but they just don't, they just don't do that anymore, because it's just its whole own thing nowadays. Play mainline for the fucking apocalypse demon bullshit. Exactly. See, you get it. I'm glad you get it. Because, like, I feel like I, I can't talk about this and people are just like, what are you talking about? Because they don't even play these games. Um, and I, I wish, too, that if... Oh my god, why are there four stairs? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, I kind of miss also, like, the, the like kind of old school sci-fi, you know, like... PC 98 vibes of like um the first SMT like and it like slowly descends into to chaos and stuff like I I love that vibe like I really hope that they have a game like that in the future SMT 1 still one of my favorite game playthroughs because the game literally takes through modern Tokyo literally being nuked exactly like it's and it's like a uh, in the beginning it's like a gradual thing and like you know, you start off like, oh, your mom wants you to go, I think it's like buying coffee or something, and then you're like, oh yeah, this is fine, and then you just kind of slowly have stuff happening. <laughs> and uh, you end up going to Disneyland. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pascal. I love Pascal. He's a real one. Yeah, I love... I don't know, I just like that it really felt felt like it actually feels like, you know, you're in Tokyo and stuff is just going on. Because I, I did like the the I guess the twist in SMT4 where it's kind of like you're not starting out in Tokyo. And I'm not gonna try to spoil that too much for I don't know. Anyone who is watching this that hasn't played it and is in is interested in playing it but yeah like it it was a cool setup for that game too which i liked but i don't know the the vibes in smt1 were, the, were definitely the best um when it comes to tokyo like you know rpg set in tokyo <laughs> but yeah for me personally my favorite uh smt is actually strange journey because i i really liked the theme of that game um, and I really liked how each floor felt very different from the next, and it kept the game fresh. And it had, there was, like, a decent difficulty to it. Um, it was, it was just a good time. Also, this, this dungeon is not a good time. Why, why is this just a square of, of, like, nothing, nothing hallways? Okay. Oh no, 
Oh, okay. We're actually we're actually pretty well leveled for this, thank god. I'm like, this, this looks scary every time I run into these guys, but then they like don't actually scare me. We love human Oh my god, Bugaboo is like one of my favorite like <laughs> demons ever. I love I love human as in bugaboo okay what what is this oh, this is oh i can go up the stairs i'm dumb i didn't i didn't see that okay okay we're just going around okay where does this where does this lead uh nowhere in particular you know what i will check is this corner okay <laughs> just making sure what's over here Nothing. And... Nothing! Alright, let me go back around. And... Go up here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is scary. I think DQ6 had a... Ha oh my god, a can of box. Had a similar a dungeon to this. If I remember correctly. I mean, we were scaling a mountain and it was like kind of connected by ropes in this way or something like that. Um, alright, let's just. <gasps> oh my god, I, it's really hard to tell. Oh! Never mind, it worked out. <laughs> okay, I found the echo flute. That's important. Okay, well, I still want to explore the rest of that upstairs area. Knife nut. Nice. And... Mini metal. Very good. <laughs> it's not occurring enough time. <laughs> oh, man. Don't even get me started on Zelda games. I'm... I have really mixed feelings about Zelda these days. I... I don't know if this is a hot take, but I don't really love the whole Breath of the Wild and, um, what's the new one? Tears of the Kingdom uh, stuff. I don't know. I, it's, I guess it's just maybe not for me, but I my thing is that I miss the Zelda vibes, and I don't think those games- those games are good open world games, but they don't give me the, the same hit as playing a Zelda game, if that makes sense. Because they're really good games, and like obviously like the physics in those games are like incredible, but like I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a Zelda game. It's like a good open world game, but it's not a good Zelda game to me. To me, of course. <laughs> I, I know, but that sounds bad to say, but that's just- that's just how I feel. Do you miss a game like Wind Waker? Taste! That's my favorite Zelda game. <laughs> I remember back in the day too, people were like, oh, Wind Waker sucks. It looks like a, a baby game. Like, the art style sucks and now everyone loves it. Like, or at least, you know, internet people are like, oh yeah, I love this game, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, man, I got, I got shit talked back then for liking Wind Waker. But I guess it goes to show the... The changing opinions of the internet these days. It's not the same straight dungeon crawl experience that the old games offered and made famous. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like the story in Breath of the Wild also just feels like, obviously because it's an open world game, they can't just, you know, kind of make you talk to everyone like they used to, but... I don't know, it just feels like, oh, it, it, it just feels like there's some lore and it's cool if you go around the world and try connecting everything, but it's just kind of like... Mm. What they do have, even by connecting everything, it just feels like whatever to me. Uh, okay. I think that's I think that's it for this this uh, dungeon. We got. Tears of the Kingdom was pretty damn dope. Yeah, I, I haven't played it. I played Breath of the Wild and was like, okay, like, I'm... The open world isn't for me. Like, I'm really happy for people who like it because those those games are beautiful and they look amazing and they, they play great. But, like, yeah, I just... I don't get my Zelda hit from playing them. I do love both of them, but I also love old-style Zelda 2. Grew up with and had a link to the past when I was five. 
and and the amazing thing about a link to the past is you could like just how freeform that game feels too like that's again like just for the time like being able to just do whatever it's, it's the same feeling i have playing with dragon quest 3 like you can just go anywhere with whatever tools you have and see what happens like it's it's very it's very ahead of its time um okay well i think yeah this is this is it for um i think this is it for everything yeah okay let's get out of here and what's nice is that we actually have evac <laughs> do not have to manually walk outside anymore our goaded sphere tracks oh my god i literally oh you have amazing taste because <laughs> i literally except for like one of my irl friends have not met anyone else who like liked spirit or even played spirit tracks really it's really really good and it's really really underrated it's such a good game and the 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 overworld music when you're just going around in the train is so good oh my god like i could go on about that. like i i zelda was definitely one of my personality traits like um personality trait series i really liked until it kind of you know changed and you know like i don't mind games changing and like i don't have you know i'm not like i try not to get mad about that kind of stuff but it's i do miss you know being like in love with the series and stuff like that got it for christmas back in the day and like one weekend did it <laughs> that's very fair i remember i let me see i think i borrowed it from a friend and i just played it until I finished it as much as I could because I was in school at the time, so I I just played it in my free time. Oh wait, I'm traveling north until you see a small body of water from the mountains northeast of the snow area. Okay, let's do that. Hot take out. I didn't think that Foundrum Hourglass was all that good, but I love Spirit Tracks. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not even a hot take in this. <laughs> In this household phantom hourglass was okay like i think i was initially excited for it because i was like oh it looks like wind waker inspired or like it's like a direct sequel to wind waker or something like in the zelda timeline quote unquote <laughs> or whatever but yeah it was it was okay i think it's like we had to get a phantom hourglass so that we could or go through Phantom Hourglass so that we could get Spirit Tracks. That's the way I look at it. Because, yeah, it's... It's okay. I think the... the <laughs> I remember the, the puzzle with the... Like, I think you had to, like, close the DS or something to solve the puzzle. I literally was so stuck on that forever. Until one day, I, I think, eventually, I just, like, was, like so frustrated that i just closed my ds to like figure it out later and then i when i came back to it it was like oh that's how you're supposed to do that and i was just like oh my god <laughs> anyway is it? where is this where am i supposed to go Yeah, I was also, like, a lot more strict with myself back then about, like, oh, don't use a guide to, like, play games and stuff. But I don't have the time for that anymore, unfortunately. So I am not afraid of opening it, <laughs> a guide up on the side. That would have helped me a lot in fan playing uh, the Phantom Hourglass, or at least to figure out that puzzle. Um... Oh, I'm supposed to be manually traveling. My bad. I'm supposed to be going like up here somewhere. Oh, metal sign. Please. Okay. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. No. Okay. Am 
Man, they're, they're pretty generous with metal slimes in this game, I've noticed. I guess it makes sense because this, you know, they want you to be like switching up your job class and stuff, so you're gonna be resetting levels, but still, it's it's nice. <laughs> um, where does this want me to go? Oh, I think it's like up here. In this small, small lake or something. Okay, so there is a silly side quest we can do, but it says we're gonna lose our our, our weapon by doing that. I don't want to do that. Okay, let me like put a throwaway weapon first, cause I'm not losing my <laughs> my my blade ring. Here, um, I don't know what I can I can do. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back for this side quest another time. I don't want to lose my weapon. <laughs> um. Okay, so we'll do that another time, but... Our next actual objective is going to Noannials. And then we are going east and then south when you can find some pointy rocks sticking out of the water. Okay. That's a new merman. Maybe not. I just remember the blue one. Um, I wish I had Bang. Is that this one? Oop. Oh, okay. No, that's not that one. Oh, here we go. I think that Minowar and Sea Slime were married. Did you just go? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. At least I killed them together. I didn't. I didn't leave one to be alone for the rest of them, their lives. <laughs> I was too busy, you know, looking at my options of how to kill them. <laughs> it's fine. They're just. They're just having a nice relaxing vacation in the depths of the sea. Is it this way? Wait. <laughs> the underworld. <laughs> they didn't have to attack me. They wanted to go on their merry way. I'm just I'm just trying to to get through some places. Hmm. 
don't think this is where I'm trying to be. We've been here before, right? Yeah, this is not this is not what I'm trying where I'm trying to go. So let me let me use now that I'm lost, let me just use some holy water. Okay. Well, I try to figure out where the heck I'm going. on this side. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I found it. Ooh, new enemies. We have the bomb and magic hag. <laughs> All I know is the bomb will use kamikaze, so let's let's not deal with that. HP. Oh my god, if he, he <laughs> if the hag healed the bomb, I'd be so sad right now. Okay, there we go. That thing took so many hits. Okay, looks like we're going somewhere out here. Ooh, grizzly. Um This is it. Ah. So this is our next location. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh boy. Heard that a spring somewhere held as a spirit. Apparently this isn't the place. Oh, don't worry. With this music, I know where we are. It's Pachisi! <laughs> branches off into three different directions. I wonder which path is the easiest. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, let's see. Does this say anything? The first king of Pachisi. Oh, there's different kings. Is this the second king of Pachisi? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is all just the first king of Pachisi. Alright. I guess it's time. Um, let me just collect our hidden tile items before we do this. Uh, search the grass near of him. Wait. What? Search the grass east of him near the west side of the water body. Okay. So like here? Somewhere. Somewhere here. There we go. Search the southeast end grass of the body of grass north of him. There we go. And then southwest area of this fort uh, to find golden statue search the grass to the northeast of it to find small metal number 50 okay so we have this one and i guess we just look here there we go that is our mini metals for this location all right do i do i want to play this okay what do i get let me see what do i get for playing this there is a pot with a small metal 
So I do feel the need to... ...to get this, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe we'll start winding down from all our exploration with Pachisi. But I will have to make a save state here, because lord knows... This is not easy. <laughs> so give me one sec. Um, Alright. Okay, so... I, my goal is to get the mini metal. Which is on floor two in one of the pots. Okay. Yep, it's gambling time. Okay. Let's do it. This is the true hero's journey now. Alright. So, I'm gonna go down here. And... Where is... We want to go to these stairs. That's, that is our main... Oh, there's also these stairs here. But for me, personally, my main goal is to just get the mini metal. Let's see, where is the mini metal? Mm. Yeah, there's a mini metal on the pot of the second floor. So let me see where that is. On here. It's on P2. I'm looking at a map of the Pachisi track. P2 is. Where is that? On here. Well, the point is, it's on the second floor. So let's do it! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So we learned from our past mistakes, which is not to examine the floor when we uh <laughs> when we play Pachisi. Oh, I guess I should know what um what floor this is on. Or which direction to go. Look at a map. Oh, I see. Kind of in the middle. So I think I'm gonna start from the right side. No, I'm gonna go left. I always go left. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got to the second floor pretty easily. Um, good, good start. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Move forward four steps. One, two, three, four. Um, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm correct. It's this pot right here that has the mini metal so um then we, we have to make it to the goal here so two three four five you want to give me a one so bad nope Ugh. This is incredible. They are giving me... Oh, oh, okay, thank god that was not a panel. I accidentally pressed A too quickly. No. Okay, it's fine. Ah! 
that's that's not as <laughs> it's not as great as it looks to move up to. Uh, examine the code. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we can just clear this, and then I'll just kind of off-screen grind that mini metal. That's it, just stuck in the pot. And they all have heal more. That is so annoying. Mm. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh, good. It is a lovely game. <laughs> I love Dragon Quest. <laughs> okay, let me, let me heal up before we end this battle. There we go. Jeez, that took way too long. just because I know I use a shit ton of MP right now. <sighs> Look rather refreshed. Take care. Thanks. Thanks, guy who lives on the, the game board. No way. Okay. This one's fine. They're not going to heal themselves, I don't think. <laughs> This is the one. Uh, this is not the one. I'm tired. I'm tired of landing on this, on this tile. Okay, well at least these are pretty, pretty weak enemies, but still. Okay, this is the one. It is not the one. Well, I tried my best. I'm actually curious what this- Oh, that just makes you lose MP. I see. There's no time for games right now. Okay, well, we, we tried. I, I think I'll, I'll probably just grind the- let me, let me load up my- save state. I'm probably just gonna try to do all this stuff off screen just because like the RNG pain is too painful for me. So, uh, <laughs> but at least we know it's here. Um, okay, so let's do a couple more 
Let's see, a couple more just exploring the world then before we are new places to look and treasures and whatnot before we head off for the day. Let me see. I'm just kind of like skimming ahead and it looks like we have one more dungeon we can do maybe. So I'll do that. I'll clear one more dungeon and then I'll call it there. But before we get there, we have some stuff to pick up, I think. Yep, we have more mini metal stuff. Okay. So let me see if we can get anything for how many mini metals we have. We have we we collected quite a bit in in this stream. There's just so many. And like there's in the most like if I wasn't like looking at a guide, I would never find like any of these. Alright. And we have 50. Oh, now we get the ninja suit. And she found 60. We have the Justice Abacus. Interesting. I think we can give this to May. Oh, wow. That boosts her defense by a lot. So let me put that away. And we can put this away. We can probably sell this later. Yeah. Okay. When are you reclassing me and Hanabi? Good question. I guess, is there a recommended level? Because, I mean, like, right now, my my party members aren't really struggling to kill things, but we have also have not really fought any, like, bosses um, anytime soon. So I'm not sure, like, I can't really tell, like, you know, the power scaling if we're falling behind or anything. Um, if anything, like, if you think it would be a good time to um, reclass them anytime soon, just let me know. Because, yeah, I don't really know when's a good time for that. Because um, the guide I'm following has, like, the party they're building. But has, like, it's, like, different, obviously, from what I'm doing. So, like, I have, like, no idea. Um, oh, wait, let me see. Maybe 25? Okay. That sounds good. Maybe I can, like, hit that before. I think what I can do is maybe after the dungeon that I'm going to right now, maybe I, um, I can do like all my off-screen party building, rebuilding, and stuff like that after that. Um, I think that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna save because it's been <laughs> a bit <laughs> since we last did that. I mean, I know I have safe states, but like, I don't know, like, I, I just like having my actual save <laughs> sometimes. Um, but yeah, if, if 25 is the case, we'll, we'll, I'll probably reclass everyone off screen and then, or I guess I can show off what I'll reclass them to after the dungeon and then, um, work on that off screen as well with Pachisi and then next stream we'll have everyone up by what they need to be. Um, okay, so our next location, we got to uh, sail south. And I'm gonna just use more holy water for now. Okay. Okay. This is so relaxing. <laughs> okay. And then from here, let me like get this lit up on my map properly before we do anything. Oh, what is this? Iceman. Um, I hope Iceman is weak to fire. So that would make sense. Oh 
my god, Hanabi. She does so much. Okay. Step guard? What is that? Stop floor damage. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, why does Oh, I didn't I didn't really heal my uh characters for their MP, huh? Then I I've actually been using her MP for stuff, so hehe. <laughs> it's fine. We're just collecting some mini metals right now, I think. Um Okay, so let me save my okay, my map lit up, so I'm I'm happy. I can I can leave now. <laughs> um but from here we are sailing south and looking for a shrine. Oh, so many of them. I might just leave this battle because I feel like it's going to take forever with how many of them there are. And they're all just <laughs> spamming kabuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> can't even leave. I sometimes feel like I need to run with Mei because, like, she has a faster agility stat. But I don't know if that's what, if if that's how that works. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Okay. Let me let me retrace my steps. We are on our ocean adventure for real this time. <laughs> What's a dire stream without me getting lost for for a bit? Ooh. Poison. A good thing we have Antidotes. Oh no, not. Oh, I guess she. Hold on. Uh, I think. She... Yeah, there we go. I'm like, one of them has an antidote. This one. Oh no, no, we've been here already. Okay, so from there, sail directly west to find. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on, let me go up here. Because then it says sell south on an island. Hmm. 
guess it, it might be... I might be that one. I don't really see any other ones. Yeah, I feel like this is the one with like the warp panel. I don't think this is where this one needs to go. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am like really lost right now. Hold on. Okay. Okay. This is important because they do have a mini metal there. I would like to find it. Hmm. Maybe it's like all the way over here instead. Because I have not been all the way over here yet. I like how like scary the ocean battle background looks and then like when you're sailing it's just like this nice happy music. <laughs> okay. Man, where am I going? Oh jeez. Um, do I want to deal with this? Not really. way in this game is so difficult. I hate it. And like, the monsters can flee from us, but... Uh, okay, let me see. Let me just top up my health while I'm meandering the ocean. So this is here. Okay. And then... Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna check out that shrine. Maybe I'm just missing something. Cause like, I'm confusing it with something else is what I'm guessing. It really looks like somewhere we've been already, which is why I'm like, uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Um. Let's try this one. Where are we? Or is this? <laughs> um, okay, this is definitely not where my guide is telling me. Oh, I'm I am all the way over here. Okay, that's that's not where we're trying to be right now. And these these warps are just kind of everywhere, huh? Okay, where is this? This is. Ah, uh, okay. We've definitely been in this in this tower before. Gosh, this, is, this effect is kind of making me <laughs> kind of have to look away a little bit because it's, it's a little bit intense for my eyes. Okay. So there's, there's that one. Um, let's go... 
up, maybe. Oh my goodness. Oh, but this is the same room, right? As earlier? Yeah. What the hell? Okay. This is the DQ3 experience. We are just going around the world. <laughs> Until we find something that we're supposed to be doing. Okay, what's in here? Where is this? Oh, this is that one other tower still. That was in uh, Romali, I think. Okay, well, I am lost, <laughs> but I'm trying. Let me see if I can find a different guide. That is a little bit more clear about where I'm supposed to be going. Um, give me one sec. We are going to open. Let's try. Let's try this guide. Um. I guess there's a lot of translation changes too, so this is a little bit, a little bit hard to uh, figure out. Um, Okay. Figured out where I was supposed to go. I think I was like in a completely completely incorrect area. <laughs> um so let me go here. And then oh, but I see, but then the 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 uh the ship spawns right there. I think we can go around. Let me see. Let me do this. Mm. I'm gonna go heal first because I have no MP left. holy water while we're out out here too um, let's see how do I go upstairs again maybe it's over here yeah okay so let's heal up And then let's get holy water so we can get through some of this faster. Wait, do they not have a store here? Ugh. <laughs> this is a bit a bit of a struggle right now, but it's okay. Um 
And I don't have like... Oh, I do have repel. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on, I don't need holy water. Okay. So let's use this. Okay. Oops. And let's go all around. I need boom. I need this to be stronger. I need everything to just explode so I can move on with my day. <laughs> these I think. No, it's not that one. Maybe here. Uh, let's see. Now, it's supposed to be by the snowy area, kinda, so I'm just trying to figure out where this is supposed to be. All of this for a mini metal, but you know what? Mini metals are worth it. <laughs> I think this is like the most completionist I've been about mini metals. Usually I'm kind of like, you know, I find them when I find them, but like this game is pretty like, like strict, I guess, about them. So, or like where they hide them. So I'm kind of like determined to find them. Okay, so it should be, I think, here. Somewhere here. Mm. Why is this so confusing? that these enemies go multiple times. I guess which makes sense because they are pentacles. They have multiple appendages to hit me with. <laughs> okay, I think I think it's somewhere this way. Okay, okay, I think this is it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Finally done meandering a bit too much. Okay, let's let's relax, Hag. Let's relax. I have come a long way to get here. <laughs> oh, looks like we can reclass Hanabi soon. Um, let me do this. Okay, we are finally here. 
We can talk to the cats. Meow. And meow. Yes, meow. Oh. The, the cat just started talking to me. <laughs> Head south and explore the area between the four mountains. Meow. You're a traveler. You remind me of myself back in the day. I once fought at the side of the hero Ortega. Oh, he knows our dad. They say that he died by falling into a volcano, but I know the truth. The truth? The truth about what? What, ha what actually happened? Well, guess, I guess we'll, we'll have to find out the truth ourselves. And we got our mini medal. Sorry that took like forever. I, the guide I'm reading was not very clear about <laughs> where I want to be going for that. Oh, okay, hold on. Find a little mountain. Stand below it and walk nine steps south. Okay. One. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. Ah, this is our Yggdrasil leaf. Okay. So for the uninitiated, uninitiated, that is our revival item for the game, and we can only be holding like one at a time. So we gotta make sure it counts when you use it. Um, put this in our bag. I'll give more of my stuff to my oops my stuff that I have in here to my party so I can actually use it when I need it uh... okay cool all right um... all right so our next item on the agenda is mm. I feel like I'm also off screen just gonna walk around just to get the map cleared because <laughs> all this gray is annoying me um Okay, so now we have to go to the small dot southeast of the Aliahan continent. So let's head over there. Okay, let me okay, let me buy holy water. I'm pretty sure I can buy that here. Just because I'm trying to get this done. Oh, I cannot buy that here. I guess it makes sense. It's a bit of a late game thing. Okay, it's fine. I will just use Repel. Then. Okay. So let's go over here. Now, this world is quite big for, like, I don't know. Like, for a game like this, it just feels very, like, I can't imagine just like playing without a guide and like just exploring what looks interesting and seeing what happens. But we are on a schedule on the stream. Maybe I'll play one day just like in my own time and just kind of meander as intended. <laughs> That's definitely um, fun in its own way. Not fun to watch, I don't think, but just for my own personal enjoyment. Okay. Now we're going in here. And we are in the village of Luzami. This island has been long forgotten by the rest of the world. We haven't seen any travelers in many years. Kind of 
It's kind of sad because they're they're living like in this little corner of the world. Like, well, that's that's probably why. Yep, very lucky to find this in front of the person's grave. Um, we have nothing to sell you, but I'll tell you a story I heard a long time ago. Legend has it, a man named Simon used to own the Gaia Sword. Hopefully you will find that information to be useful. I, I immediately thought of Simon Belmont for some reason. <laughs> Ooh. We could fall in there, but let's let's see what else is in here. I am a prophet. I have foreseen your visit here. The Ark Fiend's castle lies deep in the Necrogond Mountains. Okay, that tell me something new. <laughs> to reach it, you'll have to hurl the Gaia Sword into the volcano. Okay, now that's that's the interesting stuff. Only then will the path to his castle be revealed. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Eh. The muscle guidebook. Uh, nothing of interest. A lucky book. And nothing of interest. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna like use any of these, but it's cool that they give you an option. I feel like this game is honestly like playable without like really looking into the personality type thing, but it, it's fun. Kind of like how you can play in-game Pokemon without like caring too much about their natures, but you know, it, it helps. Did you know that the world is a sphere rotating in space? That's why the stars and sun appear to move and the horizon is rounded. But nobody, nobody believes me. But the world is round and rotating in outer space. If you travel south of this island to the Icelands, there's a small field where a strange old man used to live. He may be still alive. You should go see if he is. Ah, okay. So, not only is it teaching you how to, you know, you can loop around in the map if you so desire, but I like that, like, you know, this teaches you or points you in the direction of going out there if you know you don't end up going out there honestly this game isn't too i was like when i first started uh with the ship i was pretty overwhelmed with like you know because you can like just go anywhere at this point in the game and i was feeling a bit overwhelmed with it which is why i stuck with the guide but i feel like if i had more time and you know, was playing this again, like, um, in my own time, so that I don't feel as bad, like, just kind of getting lost everywhere. Um, I, I feel like this game actually points you in a good, like, it gives you a good amount of direction to work with if you were to just kind of go around. All right. Well, I guess that's that for this area. Um, and then... Now it's time. After, let me see, running around for almost three hours, we are finally ready <laughs> to go to the main the main story which is kind of crazy that there is this much in the game to just kind of go look around and explore and talk to NPCs that you know you could have easily just missed if you if you just kept going so let's heal up our characters um, and now we are going to go to the castle back here Now we can actually go in. I'm gonna open all the doors because I I just feel the need to. <laughs> Welcome, Daya. A test of courage lies ahead. You'll have to do it alone though. Would you like still like to attempt it? Um okay, let me 
you're some pretty honest people you may leave. Okay, let me move around some items if that's the case. Uh, don't know if it'll let me take my bag with me, but I'm just gonna eat this just in case. Um, I wonder if I should take... No, I, I can't give that to myself. Like, should I take a different weapon with me? But I don't even think I have a sword anymore, so... I think my, my boomerang is it... Assassin dagger? Oh no, I don't think I can equip that. Alright, let's do it. Come with me. Okay, goodbye, my, my beautiful wives. I'll miss you. <laughs> Well, be off, Daya. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well. Um, I, I guess we're doing it. We got a mini medal. Nice. The journey was well worth it. Oh, okay. We do have our, our bag with us, so that's good. Um. I'm scared. I feel so alone. <laughs> Oh, why are there skulls? Oh, that's a little bit dramatic. You don't have to be you don't have to be that dramatic about it all, you know. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's do it. When in doubt, I always go left. Okay, unnecessarily long hallway. Sick. I think this is why earlier in the guide they recommended I buy medicinal herbs, probably. a great investment. I think I got it from the mini medals and prizes and I haven't changed it out since. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I can run from this. Oh god. Okay, let me think about it. I don't- I think it resists like, uh, Spells, right? Can I use this? Oh god. Oh god, please stop it. Stop it. Oh, okay. 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 Oh no! It steals my MP and then spams. Um, what is it called? What is the new. the new spell for. For or the new name for beat, Thwack. Oh god. Or Whack? Thwack. Either one. Oh god, this is awful. I was like, okay, this is fine. It ran out of MP. It's not fine. Guys, this is not fine. Oh god. Let me live. Let me live. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I'm so shit out right now. <laughs> Dude, this is awful. I run out of MP though soon, so oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, help me. Well, once I'm out of MP, he can't he can't spam that shit anymore. I don't have any more MP. Leave me alone. Oh. Oh my god. 
god, I am so shocked I didn't die in that moment. How the fuck did I survive that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, you know what, if there's mimics in this, I'm just not gonna keep my MP. I'm just gonna stay physical build only because there's no way I'm dealing with that in this right now. Oh my god, I was genuinely like stress the fuck out in that moment. Is that why there's skulls everywhere? Is it the fucking mimics? Okay, there's a there's a ne next floor, but I kind of want to keep looking around, so I will. Oh my god. That's really mean that they're like, oh yeah, you gotta go alone, and then <laughs> they put a mimic in here. Oh gosh. This isn't I don't know if this is the life my my late father Ortega wanted for me. Oh my god, help me. Okay. Okay, we got a mini riddle, so you know what? Maybe it's worth it. Maybe maybe the suffering is worth it. Um, I don't know what else is up here, so let me just take a look before we do anything. Just looped around. This is right. It's kind of the same, the same thing. Really, don't need to see it explode it right now. <laughs> uh. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're 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 doing okay. We're doing okay. Where was that exit? Oh, it was down here. <sighs> I'm still reeling over the fact I did not get whacked right now. Can't believe my luck. See, he rolled that quite a quite a few times before that battle ended. And it did not work out, thankfully. Okay, next floor is what I would say. After this battle, next floor. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I think keeping the boomerang worked out for me because I think going one by one would take too long. Okay. Uh, what is this? What 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 is this? Um... Uh... Oh, okay, oh, okay. I was- I was a little bit overwhelmed, but at least there's walls. There are walls in this already. <gasps> Metally! Oh, he's gone. He was just here to say hi. That's it. <laughs> stairs oh that is taking us back to where we started oh what okay um okay that this is this is a weird dungeon it's like multiple places spawn you in the same place but then it also has different entrances at the same time I don't know this is weird this is a weird dungeon 
Okay, is it this? Am I, am I going here? No, this is also a trap. No, it's not. Wait. This is new. I don't... <gasps> this scared me! <laughs> okay, I'll turn back. I'm sorry. Oh, a sky dragon. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, okay. He, he hits a lot, but he also dies quite quickly. Oh my gosh. This is this is actually scary. Why, why are we doing this? This kind of reminds me of the personality quiz that we had last time. Or at the beginning of the game. Nope. Fuck you. Gotta move forward. <laughs> uh, boy, do I hate this. Why are you- Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Rashness alone does not define courage though. You must be able to listen to others as well. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this like reminds me of the the personality quiz stuff, but like just on a what's the word? On a bigger level, grander level. Can I just? Oh no, I don't have MP. I was like, I was like gonna just put repel on, but that's okay. The XP is is good for us. Since, especially since we're doing this solo. This also is just a dead end, but my curiosity is uh is too powerful. I mean I got I got um the stubborn personality type for a reason. <laughs> This is actually pretty, pretty scary because they could put us to sleep, which would not be very good. But oh, it looks like we're confused too. But we're fine. We're built different. Yep. Okay. Is this a trap? Am I gonna get am I gonna get hurt from opening these? Or maybe because there was not as many masks telling us to turn back? I don't know. Mini metal. Okay, nice. And blue orb. Oh yay! That's 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 the important thing. <laughs> Okay, um... Mm. I guess- I guess that's it, right? I mean, the blue orb is... 
pretty, pretty important. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Uh... Okay, there is a there is a room in that giant area that I missed a chest and then I think after that I can I can get out of here. Fortunately, I do not have any MP to cast evac, but it's fine. I'm just going to suck it up. <laughs> this was quite the harrowing journey for our poor hero. Poor hero Daya. But we came out stronger. <laughs> This one? Uh, I think it's this. This looks new. There we go. That that's pretty good. I think it was very worth it to come back. <laughs> um and then I can move this to the bag. There we go. Now let's get out of here. just use whatever stairs we find over here to get out. Or not. <laughs> it looks all the same at first, but maybe they aren't all the same. Okay, so that was a dead end stairs. So I think we just go south from here. I think it's this one then. Yeah, this- these- the- these dungeons in this game so far have been a little tricky because they just make all the rooms look the same. And this one, they like kind of made the initial, like when you spawn in, look the same, but then the hallways themselves are different so once you're actually off the screen, which I, I find interesting. Because I thought, for example, earlier it was the same entrance as this, so I didn't even bother like going back out to check, but we're good. We can leave now. Where did I come? Oh yes, it's over here and then we go- <laughs> then we go this way. Oh man, imagine I get lost to find the exit. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. I think I just go... Go this way, right? Until I find the exit? a little awkward. Maybe I have to go go up. Or down? No, down would go to the other hallway. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go right now. Okay, let's let's try going up. Oh, oh okay okay good. Never mind. I didn't notice the doors were there already. Perfect. Well we did it. We conquered the, the 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 courage challenge. Oh, I love having I love having the happy music. You're back, what a relief. Come on, calm down now. Welcome back. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Did you complete the trial? Yep. Ha, huh. you sure are a tough one. What bravery. I can only imagine what happened in there. Oh, I, I have a story to say. <laughs> Sorry to tell about a mimic. <laughs> well, be on your way. Aw, I like that our party members, you know, despite being technically, a, like, you know, make your own characters and there's not really much of a story, like, going on with them, I kind of like that it still feels like this is the hero's party and we're all friends and, like, exploring together. Like, they, they, they really still have some personality, which is fun. All right. Well, we made it through the trial. Oh, I see. So that was that was Gaia's navel, or is that something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was Gaia's navel. What's in here? I foresee all of the companions you've parted with will help you to fulfill your dreams. What? Okay. What's in here? The yellow orb has been passed around the world, but you have the echo flute, so finding it should be rather easy. I also have game facts on the side, so it should be rather easy. <laughs> I wonder what the echo flute does in this game. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Can I use it? Oh. No echo came back. Well, I guess we'll find out closer to when we need to use it. But okay. Let's go heal at the inn. Okay, so let's go put our new blue orb away to its proper... Um, it's proper location, which is, I think, to the west of here. Did I go in a circle? Am I stupid? Wait, I think this is where I... <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Where am I going? I think it's... Wait, what? Where is, where is this supposed to be? Uh... Wait, where is it? It's over for me. Um... Well... Whatever. 
Let me see. Um, you would think this is something that you could zoom to. But I don't think that is the case, even though it is an, an important important place to be. Uh, maybe it's all the way over here. At the end. Oh, man. Please let me leave. Please let me leave. This is gonna take forever. Thank you. <laughs> um, This dot? Have we been there? Oh my goodness. Let me just make sure I'm going the right direction. found a map with like the actual actual names on it so I can not get lost everywhere Okay, okay, okay. I, I know where we're going now. Sorry about that. I was a little bit lost, as per usual. It's this... This island down here. It just looked grayed out because of the snow, but I realized it's surrounded by snow. So I was like, oh, I've never been there yet. Okay. Yeah, I wish this was a zoom spot because it's... It's rather important. This enemy type is so iconic with how it poses. Like I loved how um, when the games went 3D, it still it still posed like that. I don't know. It was very like stylized, <laughs> and I, I really like that. Anyway, here, here, let's put the blue one um, right here. Uh, there we go. Now we have. Four more to go. Yeah, nothing, nothing to say. Oh, the, the blue orb and green orb. Okay. Now our last, our last thing we're going to do before we end the stream for the night 
is we're going to do some class changing. So maybe I should get May up to 25 before we do that, but whatever. I'm going to do it now because <laughs> I am impatient. Or at least we could change Hanabi and then May will be last. Okay, so uh, just a disclaimer before anyone comes at me for my party composition. Instead of being efficient, which I, you could probably already tell from my current party comp, I wanted to just do interesting stuff because, I mean, you know, why play the game with, you know, the basic, like, you know, warrior, cleric, sage, or like two sages or something, whatever. And I was like, let me, let me use some interesting stuff. So, our first, <laughs> our first job change will be... Um, actually, let me let me see if I can. Oh, I'll just change the personality after with a book. But our first job change will be Hanabi. We will be turning her from a warrior to a thief. So the reason why I picked thief was because I think this job class was introduced specifically in this version of the game, um, and I thought you know why not you know, use a new job class that was in there, and I don't, you know, again, I'm not playing this to be efficient or whatever, but usually in in RPGs, I, I like thief classes, and even, I don't know, you know, if the one in this game is, like, super good or not. I don't really care, because I'm pretty sure I can play the game just fine. Um, so we are turning her to a thief, and that's that. And also, I just think it's funny, because Hanabi in, um, in Honkai Star Rail is is a silly, a silly gal who would probably also fit the criteria. Um, and then as for May, uh, I am gonna wait till she's level 25 to, um, to, oops, wait, let me, let me redo this, hold on, um, to reclass her, but she is going to be a warrior because I feel like I, I just always want a warrior. I feel like warrior is my favorite of the, of at least in design wise, I think it's my favorite of the Dragon Quest like basic job classes. At least the older older warrior. I, I think her outfit's really cute. Um, so I'm gonna have her become a warrior once she's level 25. So I'll probably work on that um, off screen, and you guys can see her in her new form then. Um, so I guess battle axe is to go in the bag, magic armor in the bag, iron helmet in the bag, and now she is a new woman. <laughs> um, let me give her some of my other. Oh no, she she saw she has a pretty good part or um what's the word pretty good inventory but i do want to change her um change her personality to whatever might work with her better i'm, I'm probably gonna have to do some research off screen just to figure that all out but yeah so i will next time on stream have my new party members all leveled up um and ready to go for our next adventure. Um, just a little spoiler ahead, I guess our next area is Zipongu, which I believe is where Orochi is. I don't know if we're fighting him yet, but I remember uh, reading an NPC dialogue <laughs> related to that, um, which I feel like is a pretty iconic Jaren Quest 3 boss, so um, I'm excited if that's what we're fighting next, but we have to we have to train up first before we can get to that point. Um, let me think. Any other updates before I head off? Oh yeah, I know I did mention we were having our sponsored stream sometime this week. I think I was planning to have it today, actually. But, um, they contacted me and said we're going to be pushing it back a little bit just for logistic reasons on their end. So, um, I will keep you guys updated whenever that decides to happen. Um, but otherwise, I guess that's, I guess that's the stream today. Um, we, we got a lot done. We did a lot of exploring. 
more than plot progression, but I think that's that's the, the charm of the game, too, you know? It, it's not about story all the time or whatever. It's also just enjoying the world that the team behind this game crafted for us and talking to everyone and seeing all the different places to go. And I, I think I think that's that kind of stuff is fun, too. But all right. So next time we'll have our upgraded party and we'll be on our way to Zipongu. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning into my stream today. Um, I really appreciate um, everyone who comes out and all the support you guys give me. And I just love sharing Dragon Quest, as I always say. Like, I just I just love sharing this game and I feel, or the series, and like, I feel like I'm just gonna, even though this is the last number title I technically have to beat for myself, I might just start cycling back and playing more of them and like get into my second playthrough for a few of the titles in the future but we'll see um but yeah uh i think i am going to stream again tomorrow what what is today thursday oh okay maybe i might not stream today i might stream friday night or saturday night i think that'll be my next stream so um as always i'll update on twitter when i decide to go live and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a good evening or morning, wherever you are. And until then, bye-bye!